here we go again. So as I mentioned before, 2022 was very much about the number three uh, for whatever reason. I did purchase all three of these uh, during 2022. Let's discuss this bag from Lily and Bean. First of all, I want to give credit where credit is due. The person who I initially saw these on was Lisa over at LB. She posted a picture of herself wearing this bag and I thought, oh my God, did she get an Hermes Kelly? And then I went to her channel and she hadn't posted anything and then later she did post and talked about this bag. We ended up having a bit of a similar situation, similar but different, I'll explain. When Lisa discussed her Lillian Bean bag, she initially discussed purchasing the, I guess, gold version of it on Poshmark. And it didn't say that it was Lillian Bean and it just came in a Lillian Bean dust bag. And so she concluded that it was from Lillian Bean. And that wasn't sufficient for me to order the bag because I thought, what if it's not? <laughs> and then I saw that Lillian Bean, there was an initial, and then I wasn't very sure if they would do it without the initial, whatever. So I guess eventually she made a secondary video where she ordered one from Lillian Bean. She ordered the black one directly from Lillian Bean. So when I saw her second video, I went ahead and checked out on Poshmark to see if they had any locally because I'm very impatient and Lillian Bean says that it takes about 15 days, I think, to process your order. And so I don't like waiting. <laughs> so it took about less than a week when one popped up and it was priced really, really well. And I purchased my black one from Poshmark. It arrived brand new with a Lillian Bean box, dust bag, and two of the straps that Lillian Bean give you. And so I was really, really thrilled with my little bag. And so I used it every single day for like two months. It was just my go-to bag. I was crazy about this bag. And probably within the first two weeks of owning it, I was like, I'm, I have to, I have to order the gold one because I was obviously the only reason why I would recommend using these is if you are seriously considering wanting to get a mini Kelly. And what I wanted was to get the most accurate representation of a mini Kelly to see if it was something that I would gravitate towards using because there's no point in, I was literally obsessed with the mini Kelly and I couldn't sleep. It was just like this ridiculous thing and I thought, what if I don't even like the bag? What if I'm like busy obsessing with it and I don't even end up liking the bag? And so I thought, okay, I, I think I want a really, really good dupe. I didn't want like a janky dupe. I wanted a good dupe and Lisa's looked really good. So when I got this one, I was really thrilled with it. I love the the grains on this bag they're so so pretty now the one thing that i will say about this particular bag that gives it a way that it's not a kelly is the handle um it's very like a horseshoe shape and the mini kelly is more of a rainbow shape if that makes sense i have back in 2018 tried on a mini kelly in a blue color i i want to say it's the same color that cassie has in her birkin um, I tried it on and I was actually very disappointed by the Mini Kelly. At the time, I had very, I had a bigger phone and that bag was so stiff and I wasn't very comfortable with kind of playing with it because it was very expensive. It was at a reselling store that I saw it and so I didn't feel very good with it and it was just really hard to open and I could barely get this open, right? I, it appears that no one had used that bag obviously once you use a bag and it's yours it's different but at the time I did feel disappointed the other thing that was a major disappointment was the fact that the strap that comes with the mini Kelly does not cross body so that was a major bummer for me and I kind of put the mini Kelly out of my mind now I've used like nano bags right from Fendi and even from Chanel and now I'm thinking this is actually the perfect handbag size for me. 
So I think that that's where the obsession like really just broadened or, or kind of resurfaced. And so I, I wanted to try this. I wanted to know which one I should ask for, you know, if I ever you know, try to get one from the boutique. And so, I, because I, I can't buy two. And I thought I should just get a black, but I really started to get an obsession with this color. So I used this one for a while. This one was perfect. It fits a lot. So I was really, really excited using this one. But then I ordered this one. And I have to say, that the quality on the one that I ordered directly from Lillian Bean was just incredible. The stitching was perfect on this bag. And I have seen some of these bags come in with like janky stitching and really like janky lazing. And so I was very concerned that that's what I was going to get. Now, like Lisa, who ordered her black from Lillian Bean. And that one came in smaller than her gold that she purchased on Poshmark. My gold one came in smaller as well than the one that I initially purchased from Poshmark. This one's bigger than this one. And the strap on this one is shorter as well. So while I think this one's more beautiful, I haven't used this one as much. I can fit everything on it. I, I'm having a big kind of handheld bag moment at, at the moment. At the time, I, st I hadn't yet. So I didn't use that this one this that much, but I'm crazy about the color on this one. The variation of the two is very interesting to me. You can clearly see that this bag is bigger. I love that they have little feet. And I'm not sure if you'll catch that it's also slightly bigger here. So just the, the small difference in size makes such a huge difference. I would say that this one is probably closer to the one that I tried on at the consignment store than this one. So there is that. Uh, on this one, I can fit my Pro Max phone. I can fit a card holder, my Bastia, and maybe one lip gloss. And then this one, I can fit two lip glosses and I can fit all of that. And it's not, I don't like struggle to close it. Other difference, as I mentioned with the strap is, this one came in with very little clasps and the clasp that came with this one was slightly bigger and i actually like this one better to be honest this is also thinner slightly um, the stitching on the strap is i mean it's okay it has isn't as good as on the bag but that didn't bother me. I, I don't really care. I ended up ordering another because both straps that came with this one were really, really short. Neither one worked for me. And this one was perfect. This one crossbodies perfectly on me. I, I don't want to give you dimensions just because I feel with my experience with Lily and Bean, this stuff varies. There isn't a consistency in the bag, no matter which one you order. You might get one that's bigger, you might get one that's slightly smaller. So I don't really think that that matters. I don't think you can ask because I do think that they're a little bit made to order. I know that they come, I contacted Lillian Bean because it says on their website, lovingly engraved in the UK, some, something along those lines. But I wanted to know where the bag was made. <laughs> so when I contacted them, their response was they're um, monogrammed in the UK. That was not my question. <laughs> Where are they made? And so she told me it was, I want to say Hong Kong. I know it was in China. I'm pretty sure it was Hong Kong. I have lost the email, but they're made in Hong Kong. Now, there is a variation in it has anything to do with whether or not you find one on Poshmark or not. I just think that these bags are, they just are made varied. So sometimes you might get a bigger one. Sometimes you might get a smaller one. I don't know how that works. Now let's move on to the croc one. This one is the most stunning one that I've 
purchased. This one, again, came directly from Lillian Bean. I got this one on sale. And I want to say that the hardware isn't gold. It's rose gold, which I don't think it said that on the website. I don't mind it. I think it's really beautiful. I have not taken myself out of this bag since I received it. So we're going on a month of wearing it. And this one is even bigger than my black one. I don't know if you can tell it is bigger. And I don't know if it's in my mind because whenever I see someone with a mini Kelly in the croc, a real mini Kelly, those look slightly bigger. So I'm not sure if that's my mind or if that's actually what Hermes does. They might make them slightly bigger. But I love the size of this one so much, so, so much. And so I've really enjoyed wearing it. I don't find these bags fussy. Like, it's so easy to use. The other variation on all of them is the sangles on them. On this black one, they fall a lot more than on any other one of these. I don't know why that is, but again, that's the variation here. You... Once you put stuff in here, this one doesn't sag, like the sangles don't sag as much as you're seeing right now. It's just because it's empty. But this one barely sags at all. There's hardly any sag there. But this one, I love the way that looks. The other difference on this one is a couple of things, actually. The croc one is the only one that comes with a lock and this clochette. Super, super pretty. The other variation in the croc that I don't love is, is an adjustable strap. None of them have been adjustable at all. They're all like just one size. I don't like it because it's not true to the bag. And though a lot of things are not going to be true to the bag, I, I've said before, whenever I do a dupe, I, I do it for a very, very specific reason. And it is to get an accurate representation of the bag and to see how it would work for me. And so obviously Hermes, it, the Hermes Kelly does not come with an adjustable strap. So I haven't even used this strap. And then this one was a lot more stiff. Now the strap on this one is really, really uh, soft and pliable and not stiff at all. And this one is a little more on the stiff side. So you, you can see that even though like I've kept it rolled up and stuff, it's a little more on the stiff side. So I don't love the strap. I've actually never used the strap. I've just used it handheld and um, I love how it sits in the car. It's just such a perfect bag. Let's get into what fits. This fits my phone. I'm filming on my phone, but I promise that my phone fits. I have the Gucci compact lip balm my lip gloss, my card case, fully loaded by the way. My key fob, again, also fully loaded. Chubby and all, my Bastia, again, fully loaded. I am pretty sure I can put some other stuff in here. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this one had a chemical smell when it arrived, but it literally went away. And then it just had this like yummy leather smell. So this one also came in with a chemical smell and it never really did smell like leather. But I love this one. Ugh, I would go nuts if the size were the same. It's so pretty. This one is so, so pretty. Let me show you, this is the smallest one. The phone fits, I do not put a case on my phone though. That's on, uh, none of them do I use a case. So case free, my card case. And the lip gloss, I can only fit this one. I can't fit anything else. And that one goes on top in this bag. The other one, it fits inside of the bag. And so that closes there. And yes, I still shove my phone in here. And then it's a little bit harder to close, but 
it fits all of that and this is the smallest one so i love this color but like i said i have seen other people receive this and it look janky it almost it has like a it'll have a dent or something i do know that lily and bean if you get a janky piece they will replace it so i really love this if you have been considering a mini kelly and you've been obsessed with one like i have this is a good reason to get these like i said before i believe in manifestation this is a placeholder for me for when i get mine and i don't mind looking at things that way i did that with my cartier stack and i know that when i meant to get my mini kelly i will get my mini kelly so for the time being, I'm really enjoying these bags so, so much. It's nice to be able to use these like carefree, which I wouldn't necessarily if it was a real Kelly. <laughs> I don't think, but I think I would. I really, really love this one in particular. I highly recommend them if you are into exotics. This is a really, really good one. Also, if you want to test out an exotic skin to see if you would like it this is a great one to get for that reason genuinely it, i'm never trying to pretend like i'm wearing an hermes kelly like never that's not the intended purpose it's really kind of living with the bag and seeing okay is this is is the money going to be worth it to spend it am i going to use it that much and so far the answers to that is yes so i would love one I am manifesting one for me. In the meantime, I'm thoroughly enjoying these so, so much. That is my video for today, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions on any of these bags. Uh, I really appreciate your time and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.